quite a new Audible up this week on Burnt Wolf Airsoft. I'm going to be taking a look at different airsoft weapons and their roles within airsoft. Now, this is a pretty broad and sweeping look at airsoft gun types and is based mostly on their physical size and general attributes. Of course, with the sheer amount of guns and playstyles out there, there are many crossovers and halfway houses, and this guide is not intended to cover them all. Now, starting with the most common, let's have a look at the assault rifles. With their medium length, these really are the bread and butter of airsoft guns, and for good reason. If you're rocking one of these to a game, expect to be doing most of the legwork at outdoor sites. Generally, they have enough accuracy to reach out to longer targets and enough ammo to be used to suppress the opposite team. But with their longer length, are often trumped by the smaller weapons indoors. For most players, an assault rifle is the perfect tool for an outdoor sight all-rounder. Now, let's have a look at the SMGs. A lot like the assault rifles, but shorter and more mobile, these are much better than their longer counterparts in CQB sites and allow the player a nice halfway house between a pistol and an assault rifle, allowing greater suppressive fire than pistols and greater reaction times than assault rifles. However, they can lack range and accuracy, but of course remember, it's not the size of your gun that matters, and SMG's accuracy and range can often be quite surprising. These are great for players that like to get stuck in, and for sites where the engagement distances can vary over a small distance. Now, let's take a look at the light machine guns. LMGs are great support weapons for use outside. Normally, being absolute monster weapons, they are often, but not always, heavy, unwieldy things to carry around and work best, I've found, as a squad support weapon. Light machine guns are great for continued suppressive fire, with their huge drum mags allowing them to suppress targets all day long. They're great in defensive roles, and in attack, ambush, and suppressive roles. Sadly, they're not much use on indoor sites, as most places won't let you use them. Light machine guns are great airsoft guns for more vocal team players out there that like to help the team out. Now, on to sniper rifles. Now, for the benefit of this video, I'm going to assume that a sniper rifle is upgraded and capable of long-range accuracy. Otherwise, it's just a NAF Springer. Sniper rifles are great at reaching out to those hard-to-get places, enabling a player to pick off players out of the range of other guns. Sniper rifles can be used in a number of different roles, from aggressive squad support roles, where they are used in conjunction with a team to remove troublesome targets from a safe distance whilst moving up with the battle, and in a more passive defensive role, almost always best used with a level of stealth. They can also be used in a suppressive role to some extent, but lacking the rate of fire of our airsoft guns, this suppression is more psychological than anything, and their slow rate of fire and engagement distance restrictions make them unusable at close range and heavily outgunned at medium range. Sniper rifles can be devastating on the airsoft field. They're great for slower team players and sneaky lone wolves. Now, onto the complete polar opposite of snipers, the pistol. Pistols are the kings of CQB, being fast reactive weapons enabling a highly mobile style of gameplay. Pistols are often seen as a sidearm, but for closer distances, I think they're the best gun for the job. The only downside to these is they're low cap mags, meaning they're no good for continued suppressive fire and using only pistols at outdoor sites will often leave you open to being pinned by the chaps running high cappers. However, they will allow you to be more mobile and respond to threats faster than any other type of gun. Pistols are great for players wishing to be fast and aggressive and as close range defensive weapons. Now onto another CQB weapon, the shotgun. Now shotguns being longer than pistols are often not so good in very close environments. However, I found that their niche within the airsoft field comes at more spread out CQB sites, with their multi-shot firing ability being great for hitting moving targets. I find shotguns to be great fun to use and are great for players wishing to try something a little different. And lastly, there's the launchers. Essentially, these are just giant one-shot shotguns, great for dealing with crowds of people and for short extreme suppression. They're often best used with an element of stealth despite their appearance. Launchers are, unless used as a set piece or with hard cover exceptions, a bit of a gimmick. But what a gimmick. And that's a brief look at the roles of a lot of common types of airsoft gun found out on the game sites. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see. Anyway, back to what you were doing. At ease.